I started this band in the early 90s and since that time Sirveniva has known several lineups. Lies on the Morte was our biggest uh, album till now. With the coming of uh, Daniel, our bass player, and Carlo, our guitarist, the, the music changed drastically. And especially when uh, Legrand came in, we, we switched 180 degrees. Wake up. Wake up. I knew their old stuff and uh, I really thought it was arty farty, you know, uh, not my cup of tea. But when uh, Rob uh, contacted me, I, I told him that and he ensured me that they uh, were heading for other direction. More heavy and, and less arty farty. Just a crazy, flipped-out guy, you know. What this guy does is—it's so important for the whole band and for, I think, for everybody. It resulted in the best album that we have ever made uh, for moments never done. Nowadays, we're categorized as uh, progressive metal. We didn't even uh, think of this uh, label ourselves, but well, all, all reviews mentioned us as this progressive metal, so uh, probably we play progressive metal. This is certainly not a concept album. The only thing that keeps it all together are, um, in my opinion, the lyrics of Le Grand. You catch my trip, my dear. Dream on, my dear. All my lyrics are yeah, kind of personal. So, for example, the fooling is uh, about me growing up with a not very, very nice youth. I asked my brother to uh, got the lyrics uh, for the fooling with me on the CD because uh, it's about youth gone wild, you know, youth gone bad. Uh, not having a youth, and for him, it's, it's he can relate to that because he's he's been through it, through the same 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 kind of shit that I've been through. So, kind of natural asking him. Sometimes, after playing a song, I'm like for five seconds, I'm I'm blank, empty. Gave it all. Self chosen, it's, it's about a friend of mine who committed suicide. Uh, I sometimes think of him. I think it's, it's, it's much easier to write lyrics that are personal, you know. It's, it's, it's natural, so I cannot write about dragons and dwarves because they don't like me and I don't like them. Sometimes when, when, a, when a person is in therapy or something, you have to, uh, they tell you to write a letter to uh, the people you have problems with. And afterwards, when you write it, you burn it, you know? Well, I wrote the letter, but I didn't burn it. <laughs> I put it on CD. So that's my therapy, I think. The album cover is very mystical. There is something happening, but it's not very obvious what is going to happen or what has happened. So, for moments never done is for me personally something that could happen but never happened. 
I was very uh, impressed by the studio, the, the guys from Split Second Sound. We didn't per se aim for an international sound, we just aimed for our own sound, a good sound, a great sound. We were happy with the result, but hearing this in reviews tells us that we did make a good choice by choosing Split Second Sound Studios. Ask us what will be the, what will be the next result from you guys. We cannot answer that because we don't know yet. But we try to evolve uh, even further, and we hope people will will grow with us in that.